Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Alpha 3.17.2 is coming, and it is coming very soon. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It is truly appreciated. So CIG posted to Spectrum an update for Alpha 317.2. Basically, it is set to release today, being Thursday. No time is given, but usually it's around... 4 p.m. ish BST onwards, so anytime this evening for the us in the UK. Also, with the release of 317.2, they are planning to double the server capacity, increasing the number of players per server to 100. Now, they do say that this change is a crucial step towards the full experience of our shared massive universe, and they're happy to report that the team is making excellent progress. Now they go on to say it is important to remember that an increase in players does introduce more potential for stability or performance issues, but rest assured that they'll be monitoring closely, making tweaks and injecting fixes on the back end based on their observations. Now this was made possible thanks to their infrastructure now allowing them to deploy server side fixes without the need for a patch release. So very exciting stuff. Firstly, I am so happy that they are now at the point where they can begin expanding the player cap. We know they were just doing tests before, but it certainly looked like it was going well. And doing this now will certainly help in the long run with gathering data, making tweaks as they need, but also the fact that they can perform server-side fixes on the fly is great. And from what I've seen on the PTU, the increased player count did have minimal impact on performance, but that is not to say that it will be the same for the live build but it's definitely a good sign. Now with the dynamic events running as well, they did say that they will likely lower the player cap during the Siege of Orison event. It says it's just to account for initial gameplay balance and reward being designed for a lower player cap. But for Jump Town, they hope to stick to the 100 player server cap, which could be a bit manic. So talking of the dynamic events, Siege of Orison and Jump Town will be running on alternating days for the entirety of each day for two weeks. So no times, just continuously running throughout the day with one day being Siege of Orison, the other day being Jump Town. It might be a couple of days each go, uh, but this means regardless of your own time zone, you should be able to get on and play. And they will release a full schedule with the patch release, so do keep your eyes out for that. Very happy to hear this, as obviously trying to make it for a set time can be pretty difficult. So having it just continuously running in the background will be ideal, because we can jump in whenever we're free. Now, finally, regarding the patch wipe for 317.2, they firstly want to reiterate that while wipes will be irregular and they do aim not to, they will have to happen from time to time with it being an alpha. But they will also be wiping with the release of alpha 318, so around September, end of September, October, due to the back end's major rework with systems such as persistence. Now, personally, I was fully expecting a wipe with 318 anyway. Wasn't really expecting one for 317.2, but it's no surprise to me that for 3.18 they will be. We are at kind of a crucial point in Star Citizen's development this year, and wipes may become a little bit more common with these significant patches, but hopefully afterwards the wipes will begin to reduce until they start fully fleshing out the economy, I suspect. Finally, with 3.17.2's release, they will be distributing a generous quantity, they say, of Alpha UEC based on the number of hours people have played during 317.1. Not really too fussed personally as I don't mind the resets from time to time as it gives me a good reason to get on and grind again but hopefully for those of you who have been playing 317.1 grinding away and building up your fleet will get enough to pick up close to where you left off but of course we have no idea what generous means but hopefully it's enough. So there you go. Alpha 317.2 will be going live today. Very excited to get stuck in and get the season 2 of the Zero to Hero going with Ari Wrath. I do hope you enjoy this build, as I've been having probably the most fun in Star Citizen for a while now on the PTU, and with so much new improved content and now increased player caps, it should keep me entertained until September, October time for Alpha 318. Speaking of which, it will be very interesting to see just how long it is until 318 hits the Evocati PTU for its long duration testing. I'm expecting maybe two weeks before they start bringing it in, but I do suspect that once Wave 1, so Concierge and Subscribers, for 318 hits, I will be just jumping between 317.2 on Live and 318 on the PTU. 
What a year it is going to be. Star Citizen is going to be changing in a big way this year, especially with 3.18. Not so much 3.17.2. It is still very much an alpha that we've been playing for a while now, but I think 3.18 should have quite a big step up. With that said, though, I hope you all have a great time on 3.17.2. And if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. I will also be playing the PTU today because I don't think it's going to go live while I'm streaming but I will be playing the 3.17.2 live build tomorrow over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. If you are new, veteran, whatever, you're more than welcome over there. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, it does the channel a big favour. Tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.